guys, this is Cora Wilson, and today I'm going to be showing our five to seven year old high ranks, um, what they're expected to know at testing. So this is any student that is in the five to seven year old class above the belt of yellow white. So it goes white, yellow white, and anything, any belt above that, they're expected to know these techniques. This is actually um, block one. So the takedown for block one is a single leg takedown. I always want our kids to start with a slap and a bump. Now, um, I tell my kids we're always going to be attacking this front leg, okay? So I want my foot to be on the outside of that leg that's in the front. Now we're gonna get in a nice bent base and we're gonna do our drop step. When I drop, I'm gonna hug here, take that step, and then I'm gonna drive and stand up. I want her to hop when I stand up. That means she's off balance, okay? And I'm going slow right now. Once we get in this position, after I kind of drive her forward, I'm gonna pull the leg out. I'm gonna hold her ankle. Uh, just to help the kids remember, I call this a sloth paw. Um, that just kind of gives them some visual, visualization on that. Now, I take my elbow and I drive it into her thigh. Right now, my leg's in the way. So I'm gonna do a swing step backwards as I drive her to the mat. Boom. After that, I put her inside now. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. You can go right there. Slap, bump. I'm gonna move this foot to the outside. This is where I'm gonna shoot in. I'm gonna pull this leg out. I've got her ankle. I'm gonna drive in with my elbow, swing her down, and then the side mount. So that is our single leg takedown. Um, we only have one takedown each cycle. Now this cycle we are working on escaping, side control, and full mount. So Bridget's gonna put me in side control. She's got me pinned. The most important thing here, well, two important things, is my cross face right here. This kind of puts pressure on her neck, makes it really uncomfortable. And the second hand is on her hip, okay? To help the kids remember, I call this little candy cane. They take their candy cane and hook it on the hip. Now, I'm gonna use both of these things as frames to help push myself away. I'm not trying to push Bridget off of me, I'm trying to push myself away. So I take a step, turn on my side, and push. Now, if my opponent's driving into me, that actually makes my job easier when I go to replace my guard. And I like to have um, head and arm control here. So I go back to side control. I'm gonna turn on my side, shrimp out. I've got my frames here. I'm gonna pull her in to the closed guard. Escaping side control. Now, last technique for their grappling. She's gonna put me in full mount. And um, all the kids learn the bridge and roll when they're white belts. So I'm gonna start this technique with my bridge and roll and she's actually gonna stop it. So I'm trapping this arm, I'm trapping this leg and you always roll the direction you have the arm trapped. But Bridget's smart, she knows this move and maybe I don't have the best bridge and roll so she's gonna put her hand on the mat to stop me. When she does that, I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna put them on her hip and I'm gonna push away, okay? So there's my shrimp. She starts driving into me because she doesn't wanna uh, be behind, and I get her in my guard. Full mount. Trap the arm, trap the leg. Go for my bridge and roll. She posts, then I shrimp, shrimp, pull her in, get my closed guard. So, three techniques. Single leg takedown with our knee press finish. Um, escaping side mount with a shrimp to close guard. And then escaping full mount starting with our bridge and then moving into our shrimp. So that's everything our high rank five to seven year olds need to know for this cycle. Thanks. Mm.